Hello, so today we are talking about compare. So that's your word of the day to see how many things today you can compare. Now, what does compare mean? That's the way we need to start. So what does compare mean? It means basically to say what's the same about something and what's different. So that's our action to help us remember. Compare what's the same and what's different. Right. Here's some things you can compare. This is what I found. There's a lot of food to start with. Something I thought you could compare. Two biscuits. Both round, so that's something the same about them. Different colours. One's got a hole in the middle, one hasn't. They taste different. One's got icing on, one hasn't. Loads to compare, even at snack time. Uh, breakfast time, what about two cereals? This is what I dug out for you. I've got a Weetabix and I've got a Cheerio. What can you say is the same or different about them? Both crunchy, that's a good one. Um, different sizes, different colours, different shapes. So lots of differences with these two, but they're both things you eat, so that's the same. So lots to compare about breakfast time. Um, what about dinosaurs? Lots of dinosaur fans in my house, and I know some of you are too. I've got some dinosaur cards here. What could we compare about a T-Rex and a Triceratops? What's the same? What's different? Are they, these two aren't the same colour. This one walks on four legs. This one walks on two legs. So that's something different. They're both dinosaurs. That's the same. They're both big. That's the same. Both got tails. That's the same. One's got horns, one hasn't. That's different. So lots to compare about dinosaurs. Raid your dinosaur box, raid your animals box, raid your Hot Wheels cars box, anything like that you could have a chat about. You can pair two characters from Harry Potter. What's the difference between Harry and Ron? Um, here's my chart to give you some clues because sometimes it's hard to know when you're comparing things what to talk about what ideas should you say that are different so here's a few clues tell me something about what it looks like what's the same or different about that same color same size same shape or different what do you do with it do you eat them both do you play with them both do you drive them both or do they well, just one do one thing and something do something else where do you find it is it in are they both things from the kitchen? Are they both animals that live in the jungle? But there might be something else about them, like my crunchy. What did they both taste like? They both tasted crunchy, so there might be something different. If you would like a copy of this and you go to a school that Springboard work in or we work with you directly, then shoot me an email and I will send you a copy of this. So you can pop this up somewhere, maybe on your fridge to help you remember. Couple more ideas. I love a spot the difference um, and probably a lot of your parents have signed up for Twinkle for free at the moment so this one was from Twinkle there's lots on there and we seem to have lots of puzzle books around our house which have these in but I do love a spot the difference they're brilliant for comparing so let's compare this superhero here she's facing in one direction and she's facing in the other so that's something different about those two um, Let's compare these two. This one's got brown hair and this one's got blonde hair. So that's a difference. We found something different. The building, this building is the same. So we've compared it and it's the same. I love a spot the difference. But also what that's good for is you talking and explaining what's the same and what's the difference. So it's not just about understanding the word compare. It's about being able to compare with your words and do it really well. Also on Twinkle are some sheets like this which are perfect because look it says how are they the same and how are they different so we are comparing and it gives you some ideas if you can't think of anything around your house cats and dogs lions and cats um shoes boots shoes or boots and socks okay one last thing i have a chart here it's easter and spring so we can talk about animals spring animals and this is my animal comparing chart so you get to doing some ticks and crosses so you can choose two animals. Let's think of some spring ones. Let's have a sheep or even a lamb, a baby sheep and a rabbit. And then you can compare them. It says here, is it an animal? So they're both animals. So they both get ticks. So you found something the same about them. Can it fly? 
neither of them can fly. So they both get across. So you found something the same about them. Neither of them can fly. Does it jump? Well, the rabbit does. What about the lamb and the sheep? Maybe. Not sure. Have a think. And so on and so on and so on. Again, if you want a copy of this, email me and I will send you one. Okay, so I am going to set you a challenge. How many times can you find something today to compare that comes up in things you're doing anyway? And how many times can you show off and say the word compare to your parent or to your brother or to your sister? You could even set up a chart or a competition for how many times people can find things to compare today. And then you can really push yourself if you want to with your language to choose some trickier things to try and compare. Um, the spot the differences are good for having to explain um, using lots of words how something is the same and how something is different. The categories is good for that as well. So enjoy comparing. If you want to show me a picture of something you compared, you can do that and email it to me or put it on Twitter or something like that. Or you can let us know. So enjoy and there'll be some more words soon. Bye for now.